Hi there, I'm Melanie from Simple Made Pretty, where I share budget DIYs, home decor, and Cricut crafts. And if you love those two, hit subscribe below so we can be friends. In this video, I'm sharing how we updated our 1980s cabinet doors with fast cabinet doors to save time and money. We ordered replacement doors for our outdated base cabinet doors. We recently replaced our upper cabinets with a custom design and stock wood cabinets from a local home improvement store. However, our new upper cabinets did not match the old base cabinet doors, so the best solution was to order new doors from Fast Cabinet Doors. Fast Cabinet Doors has many great resources and styles to plan and order cabinet doors. I love the look of the classic shaker cabinet doors, and ordering from Fast Cabinet Doors was easy. Just input the measurements of the door after calculating the size you need and choose the additional options to suit your needs. You can order matching drawer fronts and drawer boxes to complete your kitchen update. They also have hardware such as soft closing drawer slides, door pulls, soft closing hinges, and more. Fast Cabinet Doors is your one-stop shop to update your kitchen. You can find YouTube videos and an online calculator to measure and order the correct size doors. Let's get started so you can see how we updated our kitchen cabinet doors with Fast Cabinet Doors. I highly recommend drawing a sketch of your space in the doors you wish to replace. I used my sketch to take notes, measurements, and indicate which door was which. Before I ordered an entire set of kitchen cabinet doors, I did a trial run of the doors and ordered glass shaker doors and drawer fronts to finish our DIY china cabinet. The doors for the china cabinet were amazing quality and I was very happy with the results. So we ordered paint grade hardware unfinished shaker cabinet doors to update the kitchen cabinets next. We ordered a total of 10 doors, seven drawer fronts, and seven drawer boxes. The new drawer boxes made a huge impact, by the way. I didn't know how bad our drawer boxes were until we removed them and they were literally falling apart. The order arrived via FedEx Freight and was delivered on a pallet. All items were wrapped with care and clearly labeled with the door measurements. The first thing I did was set all the doors and drawer fronts around the kitchen so I knew where each one went before painting. I referred to my sketch and the list when arranging the doors around our kitchen. The shaker cabinet door fronts look almost identical front and back, but if you look closely, you can see where the front has been sanded and the back has a flat edge. Just something to keep in mind when you go to attach these. You can order the doors with or without the boring for the hinge and even with the hinge. I chose to have the boring only because we had some soft closing hinges that we already planned to use. I painted our cabinets using a paint sprayer outside. I used small hooks on the side of the doors you don't see. So the bottom cabinets, I attached the hook on the bottom side and for the upper cabinets, I attached the hook to the top. I drilled a small pilot hole to twist the hooks into place. I planned to hang the cabinets on our clothing line outside to spray paint them. You can easily set up a spraying area to do the same thing. I labeled the doors inside the boring and covered them with masking tape. This way I could paint the entire door and peel the tape off later to easily remind me which door went where. I used a paint sprayer that we've had for several years. You can roll or brush the paint on these doors, which is what I did for the china cabinet doors. However, I had a lot more doors with this project, so I chose to spray them. I used premium paint and primer exterior flat paint, which is meant for painting cabinets, and Benjamin Moore gray for the lower cabinets and Benjamin Moore simply white for the upper cabinets. You just need to add a little water when using a paint sprayer so the paint is thin enough to spray through the tiny nozzles. It 
It took me about an hour to spray all 17 pieces and they were dry in a few hours since I painted outside on a beautiful fall day. In Florida, it was around 80 degrees that day, but not humid. So it was great weather to paint. And again, I'm using my clothing line as a hanger and I wrapped my line with some painting tape so I didn't get paint all over my line where I hang my clothes. I gave these darker cabinets two coats because the darker colors, you really don't need too much paint. And for the white cabinets, I had to give it about three coats of paint. If you don't want to go through that hassle, you can always get your finish in an eggshell finish. It has a little bit of a coating on it so that it makes surfaces wipeable, but it's not extremely shiny like going with a gloss paint. Since the finish I'm using is a flat finish on cabinets, I'll probably go back over these with a coat of polyurethane also in a flat matte finish so that these are still at least I can wipe them down without any of the paint coming off. You can see up close how awesome the doors turned out by spraying them. So back inside, I had to repaint the base cabinet frame because I was changing the color. I painted the cabinets in Benjamin Moore rock bottom, but I really didn't like that color. Benjamin Moore gray seems to be one of my signature colors in our home. I used a brush and a roller to paint the cabinet frame. After that, we installed the drawer boxes. The drawer boxes are made with the same high quality wood and are beautiful. They had a sticker with the dimensions just like the door so you know where they go. We used soft closing drawer slides that were sized for our cabinets. Fast Cabinet Doors offers drawer slides if you wish to purchase everything together as a one-stop shop. Here, my hubby removed the old hardware and installed the new drawer slides using tools found at our local home improvement store. I highly recommend that you have the right tools so this project is really easy. Here he's using some scrap wood to protect our base cabinet frame while he attaches the drawer slides. I'm so thankful that I had my hubby help me with this project. If it's just you, it might take you a little bit longer than it took us. We had this done in a weekend, but again, make sure that you have all the right tools and it can go even faster. After the doors were dried from painting, we installed the hinges and attached the doors to the cabinet frame. We used a full overlay hinge for a framed cabinet. There are a variety of hinges out there, so make sure you choose one that's associated with your overlay. Typically, a stock cabinet has a half inch overlay with half inch overlay hinges. Next, we added the hardware to complete our kitchen transformation. I used some gold door pulls and knobs in our kitchen. What a difference. And I love how easy it was to transform our kitchen in just one weekend. 
Here's what the drawer boxes look like after. The old drawer boxes were totally falling apart as you saw in the beginning of the video and all of the cabinet doors now match. I do have a two-toned in this kitchen. Again, those colors are Benjamin Moore Simply White and Benjamin Moore Gray. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. I'd love for you to join my email list to keep in touch. I send daily emails with craft projects and home decor ideas. I also have a private digital resource library filled with free printables and SVG files. And uh, don't forget to subscribe below so that you can be updated when I post new videos. Look at that before picture one more time and look at the after, what a difference. Thanks again for watching and if you'd like to see more pictures, go ahead and visit simplemadepretty.com where I have a full blog post detailing everything with more static images. Bye!